Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Last time was mostly just unlocking flying in every single region, honestly. Yes, I know I got these two quests. I will be doing them momentarily, but not in this episode, probably. But we're going to continue with the MSQ, which I am looking forward to. I got a feeling things are going to be going down again. But yeah, let's just do it. I'm about to get some short kick from this. Embracing Oblivion. Kashia regards you with concerned curiosity. I trust you, you've you gained insight in the use of souls in Alexandria. That's shocking, I know. I was overwhelmed myself at first. I expect you'll need some time to digest it all. But for now, let's head back to the earth and sky. At this rate... There's something I want to discuss with everybody. Everyone. Let's take a moment before we head into the tunnel. Hello. Ow. I've been shot. Man, you got a BB gun? All right, so what, just, what does she want to say? Is she worried her brother's gonna become a beast? Tia. Tis well that we could see firsthand how regulators are used to draw upon even the souls of fiends. I shudder to imagine how powerful Zoral Ja could become. How does Lama T, what does Lama T wish to discuss, I wonder? To think that everyone has lived here for 30 years, long enough to become accustomed to the, uh, to the way of life. Nope, I want to talk to you again. I understand that arg the argument that we should keep it an open mind. If this practice is integral in their culture, whatever fiber my being rails against it. All right. What's wrong, Walk? What do you want? I'm sorry for delaying us, but I have some thoughts I need to share. In both technology and values, it's plain that there's a wide gulf between Tuliolo and Alexandria. And while Zorolja knows everything about us, we hardly know anything about what he's become. Indeed, we haven't seen what lies within the enormous tower ever keep. So, here I'd like to make a pro proposal. Okay. That is, we work with Kashia and her people. We need to learn as much as we can about the enemy. The quickest way would be to join hands with Oblivion. We've only just met them, I know, and we shouldn't be too quick to trust. The fact remains that they share our desire to stop Zorolja. Sveen, too, claims to be at odds with the King of Resolve. May I ask why you would cooperate with Oblivion instead? It's simple, really. Their leader is Aaronville's mother. Meanwhile, whatever Sveen may feel, she's the ruler of this nation. There's greater risk in working with her working with her and less reason to take her at her word a fair ah fair point and knowing Zorolja, we must assume that his arrangement with Sveen was not made without some consideration all i know is that it would be heartening to have allies in this strange realm i think everyone would agree that any uh, help we could get now would be welcomed Hold on, there's no guarantee that's actually my mother behind the machine. Without seeing her in the flesh, we can't rule out the possibility it's a ploy. If it turns out to be a trap, we endanger not only ourselves, but everyone in Tuliol. As you say, we have no proof it really is Kukashia. But I make my proposal in full awareness of this. Whatever we're going... Whether we're going to war or striving for peace, we need to learn as much as we can. Otherwise, we can't hope to stop anything meaningful. As it stands, we know too little about this realm. We need to remedy that. We need to study the enemy, and when the time comes, strike down Zorolja for good and all. What's more... I trust you, Aaronville. You always had great instincts, honed from your time training under your mother. What if I'm wrong? What well, if this sediment is clouding my judgment? If it's trapped, then we'll deal with it when it's sprung.
<sighs> That's always the way of it with you. Fine. If you sell on this, then I say no more. And so, let's head inside and secure ourselves some new allies. Alright, let's get in there. Oh, okay, I wasn't... Wow, you haven't shown up since I got you. Yeah, I got an elephant. Deal with it. You can also... Yeah! Trample. I got a big boy. Goodbye. All right. So we're going to be joining Oblivion to get their intel and their assistance. I agree with Wakulma. To gamble regardless of whether or not we choose to... Whether or not who... Uh, wait. Whether or not we choose to work with the people here or more knowledge is better than less while i'm all for dealing with zorolja we need to consider how our actions may affect ordinary alexandrians they're not the enemy after all the vow resolve is possessed of conviction and flexibility both if the tales are true she learned much in the course of the rice succession do, 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 do. Got some nostalgia with this music. I'm unaccustomed to seeing her make decisions like a ruler. Better than her former valley val valkyating self, though. Alright, hey, good news, we're joining you. Give us all your intel. All of it. Kashia, there's something I need to tell you and your people. We came here for no other reason than to strike down Zorolja. What? But I thought he was your brother. Do you really mean to kill your own kid? Well, he killed our father. That's an issue. My kin invade our nation and murder our people. As vow resolve, it falls to me to bring him to account. I am prepared to do what I must. I won't hesitate when the time comes. Like us, you and yours oppose Zorolja. In light of this, I propose that we work together to stop it once and for all. Ooh! I realize this is sudden that it's a gamble to trust someone you've only just met. Especially if they're, if they're your sis the sister of your enemy. But I would bet I would trust in your conviction of anyone who shares my goals. So fight with me, I beg of you. As you say, our goals align, and I don't doubt your resolve in the least. If you hadn't proposed working together, I would have done so instead. Truth be told, it's been tough work going it's been tough going at it alone. While we've gathered ample intelligence, we don't have the uh, the strength to take decisive action. Besides, how could we not trust you? Uh-oh. My my only son is with you. My fussy little bun bun. He's all the reason I need. Ah, uh, yes. My little fussy little bun bun. And it's decided. Here's to a fruitful collaboration. Thank you, Kashia. Everyone, together, we'll achieve great things. I'm sure of it. And fussy little bun buns. And let's not waste any time. We've been wondering about Zorolja's whereabouts. Is there a place, a palace inside the tower? After a fashion, the king resides on the uppermost level. But while Queen Sphine has a penchant for going out in the public, he seldom shows himself. What's more, his movements are highly classified. Not even his commanders are privy to that information. If anyone knows where he is at any given time, it could only be the queen. Even if we don't know his whereabouts, Zorolja will eventually march on Tuliolo again. That's when we can go after him. The drawbacks is we'd have to wait for the invasion to happen. Innocence would be put in harm's way. There's also the possibility that he'll leave everything to his minions and not command the army in person.
No. He'll take the field. What makes you so certain? My brother has always yearned to suppress our father. That's why he attacked Tulilo. After waiting for 30 years, the first th thing he wanted to do was demonstrate his newfound strength. But killing Papa didn't satisfy him. So now he's bent on proving himself stronger than me and Kona, who bested him in the right succession. He challenged me to strike him down. He wants a duel to show everyone that he's superior to the Dawn Servant. And he won't let his minions deprive him of that pleasure. Then, why hasn't he appeared to give you your, your, you your chance? Surely he's aware of our presence here. All that I can guess. Perhaps he wants to dazzle us with his wondrous realm. But if he won't deign to appear, then we'll force him to do so. Even as we gather intelligence, we make no move to attack him. Show absolutely no interest in confrontation. Knowing him, he'll tire waiting and turn his attention to Kona instead. He'll attack Tuliolo again. Like he said he would. I, I see. If you believe this the breast approach, then we have no objections. Any campaign against Tulil requires that Zorolja lead his forces through Vanguard. We'll have lookouts keep an eye on it day and night. Such a strategy is certainly viable. If we're proceeding with it, though, it should be we should warn those outside. Indeed, they'll need time to prepare their defenses. I should be glad to coordinate our efforts. I'm already in regular contact with Yashtola, and we'll make sure to keep our com comrades appraised of developments. You can leave Vanguard to us. We'll send word at first sign of movement. It seems we have a plan. While we wait for Zorolja to move, you do well to prepare for battle, and it begins with familiar familiarizing yourself with the technology that empowers him. To that end, I'll show you Oblivion's main headquarters. Oh, I thought this place was it. <laughs> You'll be impressed to know we're located right inside that tower. In the residential district of Solution 9. Hiding a tree in the forest, as it were. So my question is, how to get you through the checkpoint? Uh, about that, Sphine said that she'd make it so we can enter without issue. She did? Curious. She's not supposed to have such authority over the sentries. If I recall correctly, her words were that she would register us as guests. I see. Perhaps we're in a clear then. When you're ready, come and meet me in the tower entrance. Oh, I can hear the music in the background. I love the jazzy overtone they gave it. Before you head out, give us a moment to introduce ourselves properly, eh? After all, names are good to know when working together. I like your gun. It's like a... Ooh, that's a beastie revolver. All right. You got Geo Nostalgia Wawaki. All right. I can hear the Dar Tartarus gang theme in the background. So nice. While Oblivion has oper operatives all over, we're the main crew here. I'm Geo, the leader of this hideout. And the dependable young twins behind me is Nostalgia Mawaki. Wiyaki. I'm Nostalgia. It's a pleasure to meet you. My sister and I are born and raised inside the bear. We've been with Oblivion for three years, and our main duties are surveillance and provisioning. Twins, eh? That explains the resemblance. Mawaki is a Tantawa name. Unless I'm mistaken. That's right, our mother is Tuliolan, and our father is Alexandrian. They want to honor both cultures. They're beautiful names. Thank you. Though I have no memory of my mother, I like to think I carry a par of her with me. So what made you decide to join Oblivion? We want to avenge our father. Ambrose was his name, and years ago he was taken away after a scuffle with a soldier over a disagreement. It was a minor incident, so at first we clung to hope that he'd be released. But when months went by with no word from or about him, we made the decision to remove our regulators. 
We had already lost the memories of our mother. We didn't want to lose those of our father as well. They've all forgotten about him now. Everyone who had known him. The bastard. Even here, he thinks nothing of his people. Some time later, we were approached by a member of Oblivion. Hoping to get justice for our father, we joined the Order. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to darken the mood. No, no, I appreciate you sharing this. Together, we will we'll avenge your father. Thank you. Sun tells me you have what it takes. You introduce yourself too. Go on. Um, it's pretty much the same story for me. I uh, am. While mine is Tatawa name, I haven't 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 the fanciest how things are outside the barrier. It's my dream to go out and see with my own eyes our mother's homeland. Once peace is restored, you must come and visit. The wilds are beautiful, the food's delicious, and everyone's so nice. You'll love it. And that's us here. You'll meet the others in the back room. That's our headquarters. Some of them are a little eccentric, but they all they have good hearts and all. And Ellie Shop Sheep Shapai. Ellen Shapai, one last thing. It isn't exactly a place to say this, but thank you for seeking out Kashia. She talks about you so much. It's clear how important you are. That's all. Be good to your mother while you can't still can, eh? Oh jeez, you wanna put the death flags on her anymore? Well, we'll let you go now. Feel free to use this hideout as you like. Okay. Man raising the death flags over his own mother. That it's like, yeah, make sure you're good to her while you still have her. Wow. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, wait. We have Everkeep thing going on. Meanwhile, Everkeep. I do not understand what this is. Oh, hi, you. Oh, hi, Zerolja. Wow, you look more robot than usual. You've been consulting with Wook Lamott. No matter. I do not know what you're scheming. But when your realm lay on the brink, you were powerless. You had no choice but to turn to me. Whatever sentiment you may feel for her, it is my power you require, is it not? Perhaps. And yet, knowing the love that Wuglamart bears for her people, how she regards them all as kin, I cannot help but wish to spare her the same pain I have suffered. What's more, her friends possess new knowledge were we to work together, we might find another path. That's the head of reason for you. I know you're loath to consider it, but is there no hope for peace with Tuliolo? What we've already done may be unforgivable, but it needn't continue. You needn't kill your brother and sister. I slew my only flesh and blood, yet you attempt to sway me with an appeal to family. The memory of my father's final moments still fills me with disappointment. Age came for him before I did. For long years, I sought to prove the miracle. And weak as he was, defeating him achieved Nothing. To kill them is my only recourse. Uklamat and Kona, who bested him as he was in his prime. They are still your siblings, even if not by blood. That such bonds should mean so little to you. I am bound to no one. Serve none save myself. I made that clear when first you spoke to me in the Golden City. 
Remember, I can easily kill your beloved family. If you would protect them, cast aside any foolish notions. Your wisdom and abilities are valuable insofar as Argos align. So think well before you act, Queen of Reason. <sighs> Uklamot, if you are father's worthy successor, then you will find your way to me. But should you fall short, I will lay waste to Tuli Yolal. What now? Hmm. He's basically holding the civilians hostage against her. Lucia 9, a move Zidane can do in Final Fantasy 9. Welcome, I was eager to head to Everkeep. It's Lucia 9, that's one of the earlier ones, isn't it? Or one of the later ones? I'm trying to remember. No, free energy. Thievery's a little later. Solution not no tidal wave. It is that really good move that's AoE, which is sweet slightly weaker, but AoE. Okay, so I think it's like the fifth one you learn. Right, Kashua is waiting. Let's head to the tower. Sorry, I'm thinking about what order the moves come in. That's so how much I love FF9. I kid you not, it is the best Final Fantasy hands down ever made. Graphics, music, character, story, environments, the battle system, you name it, love it. But this is not about it. Let's play more 14, shall we? I should probably go there one day. Well, we're about later. Now we're going somewhere else. Which, by the way, like the last time, I will be doing all the eighth occurrence in this location by myself. Which, if I'm, if I had to guess correctly, this is the last main location to have eighth occurrence. But usually, in every expansion, there's one more area, and that pops up right before the final boss. Like M Walker was some weird dead planet full of ghost dragons. It's just like, oh yeah, here's a random planet. Here you go, go crazy. Like I said, skip most of M Walker, so I didn't understand any of that. But at least this one, this one I'm understanding what's going on. Put pieces together in my head and all. Like right now, Zorolja is holding basically every civilian here hostage against Sufi, or Sophie, whatever her name is. Head of resolve. He wants her reasoning and her knowledge of all the technology. The only reason why he's keeping her alive. You know for a fact if he didn't need her, he would strike her down and... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Ah, there, gemstone trader. All right, there. I'm not worried about that, okay. Oh, hey, it's one of my favorite mounts I bought in the game. I used to use this puppy as a two, this is a two person mount. You just sit on top of the whale, enjoy some food, beverage, carry your luggage. Yeah, it's a good time. Once again, this was on the Mog Station. Yes, I bought a couple things in the Mog Station back in the day. Go away. Shishu. I'm here. Uh, should you be in front of the robots like this? I'm just wondering. Or are you to act like a personal, like, terminal type thing? I can't wait to meet his mother. I'm not lying. Ah, there you are. If Queen Sphin... Ah, Sphin. I call her Sophia. What am I doing? If Queen Sphina is registered as guest, you should be able to march right in. And if she hasn't, you'll be shot on sight. Then you may have a swarm of Zorosha's minions to deal with. Nothing for it. Nothing for it but to see if Sphina has betrayed us, eh? Moment of truth. I don't think she's betrayed us. I, yeah. 
Thank you for your diligent service, friends. My companions and I would like to pass, if you'd be so kind. Outrunner, guide, unit, identified. Register, number, verified. Six accompany civilians, identified. Verifying credentials. Should have read slower. Credentials, verified. Welcome, guests of Queen's Fiend. What a relief. In we go. Time to see Solution 9. There you have it. Seems the queen that was true to her word. Follow me, everyone. Solution 9 awaits. I'm very curious what Solution 9 looks like, because all I know is a move in FF9. Now they make it a location. Hmm. Uh, interesting. What awaits me? What's it going to look like? Ah, this is beautiful. Honestly, it's exactly how I pictured. Oh, this is a cutscene. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, it's very futury. Is that a motorcycle? Everkeep. A tower of electrop piercing a perpetual shroud of storm clouds. Yep. Occupying the ninth level of this 12-tiered structure is a residential district called Solution 9. In so naming their home, what hopes did its founders harbor for it? And did it prove the answer they sought? I'm getting Final Fantasy 13 vibes a little bit with Fantasy Star. I'm mean, getting fancy star with all the purple and technology and 13 with all the highways and everything. Yeah, no, this is a lot different than Tuliolo. Yeah, this is something. Spectacular, isn't it? There are more districts throughout the tower, including industrial ones, but Solution 9 is the largest. Just being here makes my head spin. <laughs> Perfectly natural reaction. A city of shimmering electro, replete with strange technologies that cater to every conceivable need. We never dreamed of the light back home in Tuliolo. Yeah, I'm getting more fancy star vibes now in 13. Now. While I go and explain the situation to those in the back room, why not take a moment to explore? Especially with the outfits they're wearing. I believe lived experiences are far more educational than dry explanations. And you want to know more about Sphine and Zoralgia's dominion, do you not? You have me explore. I had a feeling you'd be keen. Just to confirm, while we have been allowed inside, are we also permitted to roam? Absolutely! As Bean's registered guest, you'll find you're exempt from the sentry scrutiny. Ah, the elevator to the uppermost level. I wouldn't go near that. But other errors should be fine, provided you act like you belong. All right, then. We'll show ourselves around. Let's not get in trouble. Yes. Familiarizing ourselves with the technology here will help us prepare for the battles to come. Yes, that's exactly why you're excited. Try not to enjoy yourselves too much, or you're liable to attract attention. Once you've explored to your satisfaction, come to the entrance to True View in the Eastern Sector. The way from there is a little complicated, so I'll send someone to guide you. Understood. We'll see you later. Oh, and they're gone. I shall speak with the residents. 
Perhaps one of them will recognize the earring. What's with this place? How can this all be the inside of a tower? So, what aren't you telling me? Where are you? That, I can't reveal yet. Precautions, you understand. Just know that I'm safe. I'm getting more of the feeling that your mother because is technically dead, that's our consciousness. Tell me that you're an adventurer friend. You seem to have a great deal of faith in him. You must have been through a lot together. Uh, a little bit of M. Walker. You might say that. For instance, we found the entrance to the Golden City. Explore together. No, I explore alone. It's not that I'm scared or anything. Everything is just so different from home, is all. Okay, so I'll walk this way, you walk that. Hmm. Yep, definitely not afraid. All right, this is a city. Okay, uh, we have a... Oh, that must be another sightseeing log. All right, give me a second. I got some uh, tunes to... There we go. I like the theme here. Very fantasy star-ish. Man, they really want fancy star here, didn't they? Towers inside towers. I still... I see it, but I can't believe it. Hmm, for now, I say we proceed straight ahead. If we feel like we're getting lost, we can always turn around and go back the way we came. Yeah, it feels like we're in the city in one of the main Fantasy Star games, like Fantasy Star 2. Alright, I'm gonna actually... Uh, you know what? Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll go here, here, here. Teleport back to here and continue with the quest. Let me just move this more over here and shrink it just a little bit. There we go. I'm trying to take up a little screen space because I've been, you know, messy, which is why I have it. So now those are over there and not where I'm hovering. Makes sense. But yeah, the outfits are definitely like minimalistic futury. All right. Got that. But yeah, it definitely also has an FF13 vibe when I see the highways and stuff. Reminds me of the opening city and cocoon. The music and all that though, fancy star. Absolutely. With all the purple, the futuristic things, the clothing, definitely the clothing. I'm sorry, but when I look at this clothing, okay, I think I found the main endgame area. Everyone chills out over there. Jeez. I'll be hanging around there, okay. This is the Nexus Arcade. Alright, I'm gonna go here, the teleport back to here, and honestly, I don't know how I'm gonna get over here. Oh, I have to meet the guy uh, the, her. Alright, we're going to true view, right? Yeah, okay, so we're gonna be led there. And then that is resolution. Okay. Let's look around. The mosaic. Uh, hello, Delia. Welcome to Mosaic, a place for folks for from all walks of life to mingle and mesh like a pattern stones of uh Oh you get the picture. If you like coffee, I recommend the original blend. I mean I love coffee. I will have a cup and try it. Oh man, okay, you wanna know the, the coffee here okay. So this reminds me of Starfield, because there's that one main coffee place. Except this is at least a good game. Shots fired, but it's true. 
I played maybe 12 hours of Starfield. I got bored, dropped it. Maybe one day I'll beat it. I thought the gunplay was better than Fallout, but then uh, just everything else was not good. Sorry, Todd Howard, but you guys are losing your touch. It's hard to be excited for Elder Scrolls 6 when you made that. Neon Stein, the Crodian Resolution. All right, back here. Yeah, Solution 9, I absolutely love the look of this place and definitely the sound in the background. It's like a lo-fi beat, now that I think about it. All right, walk. Uh, across roads already. This place is too much. I have no idea where we should go. All right, never mind. Let's head to the building over there. Did I just go everywhere we needed to go? Yep. Ah, that's me for you. Like, I'm getting all these now. All right, walk. Let's try some uh, coffee. I can close that. I don't need it. I have this map up here. Man. And yeah, I want to play a Fantasy Star game now. Ah, there you are. La Mati. Oh, is that Sven? Sven? Svane? And Fall Face is not a music place. Sven. I was worried you might have had trouble at the checkpoint, but I see everything went according to plan. Well, that's thanks to you. Now, I know you've scarcely arrived, but I have a request to make of you. We don't do whatever you're making a request of. Oh, a request, you say? Yes, an important one. Uh-huh. Is it to have coffee with you? I really hope it's actually that now I think about it. I want you to sit down and have some coffee with me. Oh no, it's a private conversation. Well, darn it. I'll say it plain. I want you to make peace with Zeralja. What? I thought you said you weren't on his side. We have come no closer to seeing eye to eye, nor do I condone his methods. Be that as it may, I don't want you to fight him. I don't want you to regret a decision made in anger and haste. Unequipped with regulators as you are, the risk is too great. I appreciate your concern. But you ask the impossible. Zorolja murdered our father. His minions slaughtered our countrymen. He will never renounce his war. As vow of resolve, it falls to me to stop him. I know you love your people too. And so you must understand how I feel. Why I cannot, will not, back down I do understand all too well let me say only this then Zeralja will use any means to win if you would protect your people return to them at once and prepare prepare as best you can It may ring hollow coming from the queen of an enemy nation. But unlike me, you still have the power to determine your own fate. You really are a curious one. That's the second time I've seen that Lola fell so far. Look, you needn't worry for us. We have dependable comrades holding the fort in Tulichola. They'll keep everyone safe, so we can devote our attention to affairs here. 
Please. I won't yield on this either. I've killed a god. Multiple gods. Literally. So you have comrades on whom you can rely? Myself, literally. I am for you. You know, we'd like to learn more about you. About me? To be frank, we're still not sure whether or not you're trustworthy. So, if you have a moment, would you show us around the district? That way, we can get to know you better. <laughs> you're asking me, the Queen, to show you around? <laughs> oh, but I jest. I'm flattered that you've taken an interest in me. Very well. I shall be your guide. You're my guests, after all, and teaching you about my realm would be a pleasure in and of itself. If you like, I can introduce you to my citizens, too. I consider them family, as you do yours. <laughs> By all means. We're in your capable hands. That you are. This will be an enjoyable and enlightening tour. I promise. Over here is where we burn all the traitors. We stick them on the stakes and set them ablaze. Um, game? Oh, okay. Well, that was a late one. Bit late with that, Sphine. Bit late. With Sphine as our god, with Sphine as our god, we needn't fear getting lost. Oh, I will find a way. The Queen's tour. Sphine stands ready to take you on a tour of Solution Nine. Let's begin, shall we? I must say, I'm really grateful. This place is so vast and confusing. I didn't even know where to begin. While the district may seem daunting in size and structure, all the key facilities are situated near lay nodes. We, well, you call Aetherites. Remember this, and you won't lose your way. Now, then, seeing as it is right there, I'll show you Nexus Arcade first. Please follow me. All right. Also, I'm saying this now, I really hope I get the, uh, even though I don't really use the orchestra, orchid, orchid, oh my god, can I talk? The orchestra, uh, orchestra scrolls, I really want the one for this location, because I really like the song. Also, let me guess, Zorolja's there? Oh no, it's just zooming out. Alright, oh my god, I want that. Yes, I see you. We're two feet away. This complex is home to all manner of shops, from food and daily necessities to technological uh, conveniences. You can find most of everything here. Ever keeps interiors vast, as you observed. This arcade makes it possible for people to acquire what they need in one centralized location. Is this where I'm getting my level 99 armor? Amazing! How do you get to the upper level? Uh, levels? I don't see stairs. Let me guess. Hover tubes? Yeah! Do you see those glowing patterns over yonder? This is the automatic conveyor. Such contraptions are found throughout Everkeep, allowing us to swiftly move between faraway places. That will spare us from walking. Right. And are they also made for that strange metal? Elect what's it? Yes, the conveyors are powered by Electro. As a matter of fact, the ore is integrated into just about everything in Everkeep, even the floors and walls. Hmm, that's some good Electro right there. By etching arcane circuits upon it, Electro can be used to convert air, uh, lightning energy to those of other elements. In doing so, we can achieve various effects from instance. A conversion to wind produces flotation, which is required for the propulsion of our flying vehicles. 
A conversion to fire, meanwhile, produces light and heat that is employed in devices such as street lamps and heaters. There are even self-heating cups that keep your... Oh, that would be amazing. Keep your drink warm. Not electric, but it just warms your drink. That'd be nice. Can you make a drink cold if you convert it to ice instead? You certainly can. Our bang machines do just that. What more? Multiple energies can be combined to procure some clever effects. For instance, by manipulating the air with wind while projecting light with lightning, it's possible to alter one's appearance. Wait, what? Almost scary what you can do with Electro. Wait, Fantasia? Is that how you make Fantasia? A huh. uh, $5 Fantasia. If such wondrous material existed in our world, I imagine everyone would be fighting over it. Oh. Yeah. Everyone fought over it and only Alexandria remained at the end. This shop over here, what does it sell? Ah, oh, yes. Let's go take a look. I dare say you'll find it interesting. Yeah, okay. Mmm, that makes sense. Electro, look at the uses and everything it can do. Everyone fought over it. And only Alexandria won because of the biggest... Yeah... Oh, jeez. It is so loud in here because everyone's crafting. We got merchants. Oh, wait. Merchant Mender? What armor do you have? Oh. Try on. Oh. Oh, wow. That is a bulky set, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I really want this lo-fi beat uh, orchestration roll. It's actually nice. Yeah, that's a bulky armor set. Jeez, look at that bulk. Let me check striking. I mean, it's not as bulky. Oh, wait, I have an idea. One second, my sage is level 98. What armor do you have for me? Really? It's still not better. Not gonna lie, if you die this, it could look good for Black Mage. How about your weapon? It has to be better than what I'm using now. Uh, healers are right at the bottom. No. What, okay, what does your weapon look like? Not bad, not bad. Uh, okay, so I'm not buying anything for you. Shame. What about weapons? What's your gunblade look like? It's fine, but yeah, nothing there I want. Hey, miscellaneous. What's this, a whistle? You need some scales. Mikasu. Oh, jeez, that's ugly. No, that's nightmare fuel. Get off it. Uh, excuse me. Me's likes, I think. An air wheeler dealer. Ooh. It's so much to save my money this expansion. Hello, uh, the Sphine. This shop sells food. Those are the items on the counter. Those that's food? Hmm. That's oh. I honestly was not looking at this. I said, that's food? That's food? I can't imagine what they taste like. <laughs> I thought you might be surprised. Your countrymen were, too, in the beginning. Come, you must sample something. Choose one, I'll purchase it. Welcome, friends. How lucky you are to have Her Majesty to treat you. The five items in this player are most popular. I recommend one of them if this is your first time. Okay, which one do I choose? Do I get to choose? Oh, I do. Select the item that interests you. A uh, slab of pink's hexagons, liquid-filled pouch, long rectangular bar, 
Hexagon pattern bag. You know, I'm gonna go with the bag. Why not? Ah, oh, yes, the salad paste. This is designed for those who are concerned about that. Oh, damn it. Thanks for telling me I'm fat, game. A blend nine varieties of vegetables will help you slim down. Fashion Miles swear by it, news can't get enough of this stuff either. No! Okay, I can click each one. Okay. This is a cultivated steak. It's not quite the same as the real thing they produce on the outskirts, but it's a sight more affordable. Slight more. Uh, the particular product is known as gold labeled, and it's a delicious hybrid of beef and chicken grown at the plant on the fourth level. Okay, no. I'm gonna assume this is a granola bar. The synthetic fruit pellets. They're our best approximation of the taste and texture of a grape. I've never tried the real fruit, so I can't say how faithful they are, but there's no denying their popularity. I don't know what this could be. Juice? Ah, the reviving tonic. I take it you're thirsty. The flavor is a sublime blend of sweet and salty. It stays fresh for over 10 years thanks to our special container. No, and I'm gonna assume it's a granola bar. Keen on the perfect meal bar, are you? It's all the nutrients your body needs packed in a single food stuff. The flavor is formulated that never tastes dull, and one bar will satisfy you for a whole day. Many folks prefer this take em Oh yeah, I will take that. Give me the bar. I love granola. Alright, Walk, where are you going? Well, they're all very tempting. I'm gonna have to steak. I'm absolutely starving. Okay. Thank you for your uh thank you for your custom. This being Her Majesty's treat, it's bound to taste all the better. Hey, would you mind sampling your selections here now? It's been a long time since we had newcomers. I love seeing your reactions. Oh, okay. I really hope I like what I got. This is a great chance to learn more about Alexandrian culture, Vader. Let's dig in. I am very scared we're not going to like this. It's just a meal bar. All right, here we go. It's just a meal bar. It's fine. Jesus eaten. Following Wakul Mutt's lead, you sample your selection. Man, it's a crunchy meal bar. Amazing. I never tasted any meat like this before. It's terrible like chicken, but flavorsome like Ronek. And the spices give it just the right amount of kick. I could eat this all day, every day. Hey, okay. Well, at least their synthetic steak is really good. <laughs> Don't mind them. They're just happy to see your honest reaction. How about you? It's fantastic. <laughs> it's always such a pleasure. My thanks for humoring me. This does take me back. That was very chaotic when the people of Tulio first arrived. We endeavored to learn about one another and embraced our differences. Just like the one uh, town against the lizard people. Alright, what about you, Sveen? Are you having something to eat too? I appreciate the thought, but I'm fine right now. Thank you. Does she not eat? Alright, what's your favorite food if you don't mind me asking? My favorite food. Why do you wish to know this? Because I wish I want to get to know you better. Why else? The more you know of someone, the more you grow fond of them. That's what my old man believed, and my experiences have led me to believe the same. My favorite food. Is it gonna be something I know from nine? Hmm. It's a difficult... Is it such a difficult question? I don't know. I'm sorry, it's just... When I think of all those who labor to bring us the food, I find I can't settle on one thing. <laughs> I forgot. I was indecisive, but you're something else. Indecisive? Perhaps I am, but you needn't laugh about it. Bye? So do I, I buy food from you? 
No. Welcome, friend. Okay, I guess not. Um, oh, geez. Now you want to show up. I don't know about you, but I'm satisfied. Let's keep moving. Very well. Next, I'm thinking of showing you the residential sector. But it's in part, but it's in part so I can tend to personal max. It is visitation, to be precise. And I do believe it will be educational for you as well. So the two of you mind accompanying me? Not at all. Wonderful. Let me know when you have seen up here. We'll make it on our way. Um... Well, I found all the crafting people. I'm definitely not doing any of that. Ready? Let's head to the residential sector. It lies to the southwest. As we walk, I will be glad to tell you about any place of interest we are to come upon. Oh, are we doing this? We're doing this. Here we go. Woo! Okay, let's go. Gemstone Trader, which that one will not be unlocked unless you reach max rank with everyone else, I bet. Yep. You're like Yelmore. Elmore, whatever. Takat. Hello, Takat. Come to do a bit of shopping? Well, you picked the right place. The commerce sector's pretty, probably the best retail hub in all ever keep. I'm sure you'll find everything you're looking for. Well, I haven't really found anything except the motorcycle for seven million. Even though I'm very tempted to buy it. Oh man, this music is actually really good. All right, coffee time. Come on. Oh, no. This is Mosaic, a cafe. Here you can buy drinks and enjoy while you relax. I see, in Tulliol, there's an establishment called Zabraltia. That's seashell in local tongue. Is that... Is there a story behind why its name is Mosaic? There is. In our continent, the races are named for stones. There's the Hewing, who resembles the Tonawada, and the tall, graceful Eldit, who... Dim who and the diminutive and available Milana. When they all gather here, they appear to be as a mosaic of colors. Thus did the founder choose the name of the cafe. <laughs> That's nice. They serve tacos here. It'd be perfect. Tacos? A traditional Turilli dish. One of my favorite foods. You must try it one day. Oh, uh, yes, definitely. We'll make it happen once you restore peace to Tilliola, right? Let's continue. I might say Fantasy Star 2, where the food and everything is right there. Mm, yeah. And then, eh, New Genesis happened. I don't like New Genesis. I tried to like it, man. I really did. I was so hyped for it, and then... Eh, it's probably better now, but... Man. I ordered that so fast. The store wasn't even that good. And here we are. These buildings are where citizens live. Oh wow, oh, they are massive. This reminds me of the world never was. They're massive, each one's bigger than the palace. They have to be, for just about all the Alexandrians have apartments here. Lest you wonder, I'm here to visit some people. The apartment is in the building to the left at resi residential radius 914. Residential radius? That's right, come, the door opens automatically. Um. Uh... Who are we visiting? Hmm. Now I'm interested. Alright, we'll stop here first. Optional. Hey, Sveen, can I want to live in this place? Naturally. In fact, many of your countrymen make their homes here. No matter your origin or race, occupation or regular... Regulator usage, all Alexandria citizens are eligible for the, an apartment. This includes those who met who work you met who work on the outskirts. You've taken care of everyone for 30 years. I'm truly grateful. And now this is a lobby, a common area for residents. I see. And what do these machines do there? Ah the I know the word, I've heard it pronounced. Concierge. They look after the residents. If you require assistance, they have, or have any questions, they will be glad to assist. Is that so? I have no shortage of questions, but I'll direct them at you for now. By all means, you may consider me your personal concierge. All right. 
Off we go. We're here. This is the, this is the place. A mother and son live here. Hmm. Sick, I take it. I'm gonna take it. They're sick. My son, he's dying. Please, Queen Sphine, do something. Hello, Isadora. Majesty, you came. I have friends with me today, is that alright? Of course, friends of the Queen are friends of ours. Please make yourselves at home. How has Milo's been? There's been no change, but the symptoms are thankfully mild today. Hello, Miles. Have you missed me? I think he's asleep. My son was born with Levin sickness. A severe etheric imbalance towards lightning. As a result, he suffers from paralysis. He cannot walk and struggle. Oh, jeez. What worse place for your son to be? Oh, no. Oh, that's actually really bad. For a blessing, he still has his hearing, and even on bad days, he can communicate with his eyes. I see. Sphine visits often, does she? She does. Milo simply adores her. He sometimes even manages to smile when she's here. What about yourself, Isadora? How are you holding up? You need to worry about me, Your Majesty. You always look... You always make time for us, and we haven't... have everything we need. I'm glad to hear that, but you mustn't strain yourself, understood? There is nothing you can do for him. Perhaps a treatment with souls, or... Unfortunately, no. While souls can revive those who have met with an accident, they cannot reverse the effects of old age and illness. Truth to be told, many children are born like Milo's. The illness has existed for generations, but we've been unable to find a cure. The cause is quite clear, though. The access lightning in the environment. It's no coincidence the number of cases has risen dramatically these past 30 years. Yeah, it's not great. It's all my fault. What was that? I'm sorry, Zadora, but I must be going. I promise to make a proper visit next time. We treats to share. There's no need to apologize, Your Majesty. If it weren't for you, Milo's and I wouldn't still be here. Thank you. Oh my god, he spoke! Thank you. Means fiend. It's my pleasure, Milos. I'll be back soon, so be a good boy for your mother and for me. I actually didn't expect him to speak. Oh man, but yeah, oof. Not great! Not to have that illness in this environment. And as she said, cases are going up. Probably because... Eh. I should talk to her first. Wait, can I? Nope, okay. The illness is part of the life in Alexandria, and I thought you would know about it. We'll find Kira one day, mark my words. We'll make it so an unfortunate children like Milo smile again. Decline! To think there was such an illness. Okay! Ah, another weapon. Her people, her family. Having recomposed herself, Sphine is ready to continue the tour. Well, let's continue the tour, shall we? Look, you obviously have duties to attend to, citizens to look after. We can stop here if you like. No, no. I do this because I want to, so please do not worry. 
Next time I'll show you one of District's most... Someone just ran in there. Okay, he's their guy. Just leave the kid alone. Uh, a visit called Resolution. To visit it, we'll need to go by way of Lanoid 9. Or the Aether Knight is... Aether, okay. Oh, jeez, I can't read. Ugh. I'm getting tired. All right. All right, let's get there and talk to her. Is really tall though. Don't tell me we're gonna use that now. The conveyor ahead will transport you to the government sector where resolution is located. The markings on the conveyor indicate its direction, and there is a pair just like it on the other side. It, is it safe? Extremely, there's no need to be afraid. Who says afraid? Come on, Bayer. Yeah, not afraid, she says, by the way. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's a little different way how I thought it was going to go. This is like the administration building. Praxis Park. Now, let's do some sprinting. Then there should be an Aetherite right there. We'll touch that first. Nothing to it, eh? Child's amusement ride. And here we are. Re Resolution, the operational heart of Solution 9. From Resolution, we oversee the running of district and provide essential services to civilians, such as welfare support and job introductions. It's quicker to show than tell, so let's proceed inside. Contraptions everywhere you look. What's that? An infusion station. It dispenses souls in exchange for credits. Through hard work, citizens can obtain the peace of mind provided by spare souls. It's the way of life for Alexandrians and has been for quite some time. But I imagine it must be difficult for outsiders to comprehend. Yes, it is. <laughs> That's putting it lightly. To be honest, it sounds disturbing. Still, I won't dismiss it out of hand. Practices like these don't arise from nothing. There's a reason why your culture is the way it is. And I'd like to understand. Won't you tell us some of your realm's history? Ooh, please. I need to know. With knowledge comes appreciation. Now tell me how a monkey man named Dane helps save your realm with a bunch of people. Very well. Be warned, though, that it may take a while. I mean, I have another about, what, 50 minutes in this video? You can continue. In the distant past, over a thousand years ago, it said, lightning energy began to swell in our world. According to ancient records that date back around eight centuries, the rainy season spanned a quarter of the year, 
during which time severe thunderstorms ravaged the land. Four centuries later, this season had lengthened to nearly half the year. The trend continued, with our ancestors spending longer and longer languishing beneath storm clouds. Crops failed and livestock starved. But amidst this growing desperation, a miraculous material was discovered that promised salvation. Electrope. The stuff that's used everywhere here. I also want to know how you have this much Electrope. Do you use Electrope to Indeed. make more Electrope? One day, when out inspecting a forest after lightning had caused a fire, a villager came upon a curious black ore none had seen before. Would it happen to be an evil forest? Testing revealed that the ore possessed a singular property. It could store lightning and convert it to other energies. In that instant, the scourge of endless storms became a blessing. Dubbed Electrope, the ore found use in myriad inventions and dramatically improved people's lives. So much so, in fact, that all nations soon became dependent upon it, despite the difficulty of obtaining it in quantity. Supply was chronically scarce, and when nations couldn't meet their needs with their own deposits, some resorted to taking Electrope from others. Fighting was isolated and sporadic, until Electrope came to be used in warfare. First in the weaponry of invaders, then in the countermeasures of defenders, and then in every aspect of combat where an advantage might be had. This served only to exacerbate the ore shortage, leading to further escalation. Before long, the entire world was engulfed in a terrible war known as the Storm Surge. As the war came to a head, Alexandria's neighbor Lindblom committed its stores of Electrope to the production of a weapon of mass destruction. Blum! Sid! They deployed it on the front lines and triggered a calamity of frightful magnitude. Not even their own scientists had anticipated the force of the lightning that was unleashed. The energy inundated the entire continent. Laying it to waste. Oh, that's not good. How did you guys survive? Because... So that's how your world came to be this way. Sounds enough like, like an umbral calamity. The calamity of thunder. You truly know a great many things that I don't. I should like to learn about you too sometime. But to continue the tale, the people of Alexandria had already lost much to the war. They lost almost everything else to the Levin. Those who survived bore deep scars tormented by the memory of loved ones taken too soon. Though they yet lived, the cruel specter of death was with them always. Oh, is that when the regulators came in? Seeking a solution, our scientists turned once more to Electrope, and after extensive research, they developed the means to preserve memory and soul Physical death isn't the end. So long as our memories endure, we may live on. This belief sustained us then, and it sustains us now, granting us comfort. That's quite a tale.
that means the black mage and that the black mage uh, village in the forest is Your Majesty, gone. Help me! I beg you, Damn. help me. What's the matter? Can you see? I've got no souls left. Not a single one. But the lot at Soul Supply refused to give me any. Please, you must do something. Um. My apologies, Your Majesty. This man, he does no work. Instead, he drinks his days away on true view. Oh, so it's your fault. He has only himself to blame if he has no credits for souls. Oh, I mean, that is true. Sorry, man, you're dead. That's not true. I'm a fighter at the Arcadian. Or rather, I was. I haven't been allowed to fight because of the King's decree. It isn't my choice. Get a job. I see. You're a brave warrior of the arena. Which, I, if I remember correctly, this is going to be the I raid want of this to help you. Expansion. I sincerely do. But... I cannot give you preferential treatment. Then open up the Arcadian again, so I can fight! I'm sorry, but that's not my decision to make. The King requires feral souls for war. He doesn't wish for them to be expended on amusements. <laughs> You're useless! A queen in naught but name! All right, go die now. <laughs> Insolent wretch! How dare you take that tone with her majesty? It's quite all right. Such things don't bother me, nor do I think ill of this man. Though he should get a job. Hear me. Though I cannot grant you a soul, I mean it when I say I want you to live. I love all of you equally, dearly. You are as family to me, and it pains me to see you deny yourself hope. I want you to find a happiness all your own, even if you must grow it from the smallest seed of joy. Out there, somewhere, is a reason for you to smile again. <laughs> we all need to vent our frustrations from time to time. I will always be willing to lend an ear. Yes, Mum. Of course. Even without a spare soul, I suppose I'm fine as long as I stay in Solution 9. I apologize for my rudeness. Good day to you. Keep your chin up, my friend. And when you feel better, I'm sure you'll find another way to apply your talents. He's dead. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that. Let's keep moving, shall we? Right, I believe we've visited all the main facilities. With that, I declare our tour concluded. That man from before, does that sort of thing happen often? Somewhat. It's unavoidable. Hardships are a fact of life. Our soul management system has sustained our realm for generations, but it isn't without flaws. For one, people have become accustomed to having spare souls. Without them, they feel vulnerable and anxious. Some claim it may also have contributed to a decline in births. Just thinking out loud, but would it be possible to do away with the system? Oh, she does not no. like that. No, just no. 
I know it isn't easy to change one's beliefs and way of life. The Mamulja had their reasons for their reliance on blessed siblings, much as you have yours for souls. But if we defeated Zorolja, you'd be able to make all the Isn't decisions, there, right? We don't have the right to tell them what to do. Then we could work together to fix things, restore your realm to where it belongs, and see where we can go from there. All right, real quick. Walkie walkie here. Okay, walkie. Um... You all know why she's doing this? Like, I can easily take a guess. She cares for her civilians so much, of all Alexandrians. She doesn't want to see them die, which is why she's having, you know, them be fueled by souls so they don't die. She doesn't want to see her own people die. Which is why she has it so they have a way to come back. All right, there, walkie walkie. Listen to me. There's something that I need to tell you. What is it? Uh, actually, never mind. It's nothing of import. Well, it was lovely showing you around. Uh, of course. Of course. Thanks so much for the tour. We've learned not only about your realm, but you as well. For now, our priority is Aralja. But once we've dealt with him, perhaps I can return the favor and show you to Lihola. I'd like that very much. Well, you have something you want to say, but you can't say it. I'm always here to listen. And frown. Yep. It seems I've no choice but to continue down this path. Am I have to kill you in the future? Forgive me, Vau Wuklamat, but I must disappoint you. What was Fiend wanting to tell us sooner, I wonder? Well, take a wait for another time. We've been exploring for a while now and should probably go to Kashua's meeting point. That'll be back the way we came, I think. Yes, or I can take a short. Oh, actually, the shortcut's not worth it from after what I saw. Yeah! Whee! Whoop. Man, I get a lot of fancy star vibes from this, and I actually love it. Alright, we'll start the next quest and do that, and then I think this might- the next quest will be the last one I do for this video. Yeah, Solution 9, I'm a big fan of. Like, Tuliolo is a very... Uh, in... Uh, it's a untechnological, very, it's very early on in its development, I'll say. While well, this is something else. I was not expecting to see this, this expansion. Sveen generally cares for her people. I can respect her for that. And thanks to Arturor, I've come to understand the lives of Alexandrians. They don't feel so strange and distant anymore. One second walk? I have a weapon to get. Ow. 
Hey, you know what? That actually fits. Oh, potty piece. Scales of blue. Who's in the district? To your satisfaction, Wokla Mutt is ready to head to the meeting point. So we're supposed to uh, go to a place called True View in the eastern sector. This conveyor ought to take us right there. You know, once you get used to it, they're actually kind of fun. Come on, Bader. All right, ease it up, man. She's running. Let's do this. I also think of Digimon uh, Digital Sir, uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. I think of that for some reason. It's weird, I know. All right, uh, walk. You have to give me a couple seconds. I have some people I need to talk to. I have. I can get those. And then, yeah. Might as well talk to you now. Hello, a million iron hearts. The tome. You would have. That wouldn't happen to be a sightseeing log, would it? Oh, you're old. Milfy. That's a name I haven't heard in a good long time. And dearest Elizabeth. She's my twin sister, you see. And I haven't seen her for 30. Oh my god. She's her sister. I haven't seen her for 30 long years. Not since I was trapped during the explosion of Gasolani. It brings me great joy knowing she is well. Pardon me for asking, but why I see the notes she add your log. She always did make such bold strokes of her lettering. Here. I'm happy she's all right. I read my own notes. Some of the information may seem improbable at best, but I believe there is truth in every entry. Were I younger, I would sat and search for these fantastic sights myself, but alas, my body can no longer endure such travels. Though, thanks to you, I feel lighter than I have been aged in an age. If there is one thing I will wish is to see my sister again before I die. There's so much I would share with her, but you have better things to attend to than an old woman's musings. Take care, kind adventure, and may your kind lead you to vistas both bright and unforgettable. Oh, Yeah, I forgot she said she has a sister. And she's been here for, for 30 long years. Which is actually kind of sad to think about it. So many people have been here for 30 years. It's the right place, you think? I don't see the others, though. Well, rather than sitting here waiting, we might as well explore a bit more. Hey, Bader, look over there. Uh, Mamuja Child, what are they doing here? Yeah, no, actually, that's a good question. You're not hiding very well, kid. Uh. You know this too, right? The resemblance to Zoro Jaw. Oh, is that his son? Did he have a child? The blue scales of the Boo Noir with the features of a Hubugo. This can't be a coincidence. Did he clone himself or is that his child? At any rate, it wouldn't do, it wouldn't do uh, to leave such a small child on their own. So cloning or child, let's figure it out. Come on, let's get after them. Here's the thing, if it's cloned, we can kill Zoroja, we'll still have him. If it's kid, eh, we can still kill him and, uh, well, the kid, I guess, uh, will raise it better than his father ever would. Oh, there's a vista over there. I think they ran this way. I don't know, let's find out. Oh wow, man, they ran fast. I don't see them anywhere.
I just want to keep looking at the advertisements and see what pops up. They're really interesting to look at. So this is true view. I'm not sure what I'm looking at, but it does seem lively. Oh, is this where the Coliseum place is? The big board? I'm thinking that's it. That building's just about the only one that isn't lit up. Not only, not open for business at this moment, I guess. Yeah, that, okay, that's the Coliseum place. Oh, you just come into us, okay. Uh -huh. I didn't see you there. Hello. Listen, we don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk. It's a bit odd, don't you think? They're running off when we approach, only to suddenly reappear. Could be they want to take us somewhere. Are you leading us to oblivion? Is that what you... Is that the way of it? You want us to follow you? So it is. Alright, lead the way. Okay, yeah, he's gonna probably lead us to oblivion. And maybe that'll be a Zorolja clone or child. I'm gonna go with clone for now. Let's see where they take us. All right. All right, follow the blue scale child. All right. Go, 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 go. Man, this place is awesome looking. I'm back. I just wanted to at least get one Aetherite crystal. That's all. So are they hiding in like a nightclub or something? Oh, we're going over here. To this building? Or one over there? Uh, you're gonna have to wait a second. There's another crystal I can attune. Uh, it looks like it's a bar of some kind. And then there's the... that one right there. Alright. Melancholy. That's a name. Melancholy. Yeah, that's definitely a name. Is this where you want to bring us? Uh, I guess we're going to get drunk and uh, party. What is this place? If you're meant to relax here, it isn't working for me. Hey, what's your name? No name. Just drink. So you're still not inclined to talk. Don't only talk if he's completely comfortable with you. You know him? After a fashion, but never mind that. How about something to wet your whistle? Adorable as you are, it's on the house. I can only recommend our special. Her Majesty. I'll prepare one without liquor for the boy too. Yes, I'll take one. <laughs> uh, thanks, no thanks. There's supposed to be a friend here named Kashia. But we ran to the child on the way, and he led us here. Oh, so you're with Kashia. Mm -hmm. In that case, go and have a chat with Big Tessos here. He'll show you... He'll show you to a fun place.
about him. I don't think he's in the mood to talk. So he could tend the bar. Uh, this is taking a turn for the strange, but you don't think we're walking to a trap, do you? Also, man, a kid running a bar. Okay. Nah, I should be fine. If they wanted to kill us, they would have killed us already. Damned if this doesn't have a suspicious written all over it. Now, like I said, if they wanted to kill us, they wouldn't have done it already. I think we're fine. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Melancholy. If you feel... Okay. What is this fun place meant to be? Is Kashir here? Well, I suppose there's only one way to find out. Let's get some armor. Oh, yeah, that is uh, a bit much. Gives you teeth. Esso stands stoically before the door. Sarah is normally off limits, but because she has told us about you. Just follow the corridor and head in the room at the end. Let's go, Bader. Whatever happens, you won't catch me with uh, be surprised. Mm hmm. Yes, nice to meet you. I'm the robot again. We've only just arrived ourselves. Amazing. I bid you welcome to the back room. Oblivion's humble headquarters. A hideout tucked behind a drinking hole brings back memories, doesn't it? Oh, the seventh dawn. Our members here are mainly creators and adapters. That is, scientists and engineers who specialize in electro. They use their skills to provide support to our field operatives. Genel, Shale. Be so kind as to give our friends an overview of your duties. Well, there's provisioning. No. <laughs> Gotta have supplies to fight the good fight. You you can't be Luckily, the crafter. Luckily, we got the tools to craft most of what we need. You can't be him. Gathering intelligence is another vital aspect of our work. Everkeep's core system is a veritable treasure trove of information. You just need to know how to get in and find it. We also handle surveillance and communications, watching the enemy's movements and coordinating our own. That sort of thing. And among all our activities, we spend a fair bit of effort investigating preservation. The organization credited with laying the foundations of Electrope technology. From the sole management system to Everkeep's design, they're behind just about everything you see here. It'd be no exaggeration to say they made this realm what it is. But their magnum opus was without a doubt the power which was used to join Alexandria to Tural. Interdimensional fusion. Said power isn't unlike my summoning technique, and the magic within Asm's crystal. Yet, though the effect is localized, to be able to fuse realities. Even with my knowledge, I struggle to conceive how it could be possible. Incidentally, the founders of our group, a husband and wife, were members of preservation at one point that they opposed the fusing of worlds, and so defected in order to prevent it. While not entirely unexpected, given what we have seen, is that going to be her mother and father? still quite the revelation. It's the only time they mentioned a couple. 
By the by, that's an interesting earring you have there. A novel way of carrying a data storage device. Wait, what? Oh, you didn't know. Well, as a precautionary measure against machine infiltration, we scan everyone as they enter. And when we scanned you, we detected a small quantity of electrope. Though it's been dressed up, that earring is a storage device, and no mistake. Bought it from a shop here, did you? No, it, it, it isn't bought, but inherited. Your parents are the originators, the founders. They're a couple. So these people sent you through the portal along with the earring? Do you know aught of them? Listen, Cryo. The husband and wife who founded our order. It's believed that they were Malala. Though we have no evidence at present, we can't rule out the possibility that they were your parents, or perhaps close relations. This I posit because they were the very individuals who spearheaded the research into interdimensional fusion. As traitors to preservation, they were relentlessly pursued. And then they had to give up their child for safety. If they had a child they feared they couldn't keep safe. Yep. Entrusting her to the people of another world might have been their best option. My parents. The Founders of Oblivion. Tell me everything you know about them. No matter how small or seemingly insignificant. Anything and everything. We don't even know their names, I'm afraid. In a bid to elude Preservation's agents, we suspect they erased all trace of themselves. Sorry we couldn't be of more help. If you're interested though, you're welcome to review our accumulated data. Yes, please. As an individual and member of my order both, I wish to learn as much as possible. I should also like to peruse the data. Where the joining of realities is concerned, I may well be of service. That is true. Of course. Feel free to peruse to your heart's content. Thank you. She's a very bubbly sort. If you like, I can examine your earring. I have to say, the prospect that it belonged to our founders has me itching to take a look. I dare say we have enough eyes to pour over your records. Is there any other way we might be productive? Mm, not right now. We're still waiting for Zoralja to make the next move. In that case, Alice, would you mind accompanying me? Gladly. Yay, I left it by myself. Oh, wait, no. Ah! Get it up again! Uh, never a moment's peace. Pay him no mind. I don't. Are you the crafter guy this expansion? Oi! You two there! Why don't you give me a hand, would you? Don't matter who. Uh, I just remembered I have matters to discuss with Shay. Of course you would. <laughs> oh no. I'm busy. <laughs> oh dear. Are you the weapon crafter of this expansion? Cause you look and sound exactly like him. And your name is very close. Seldom does one see Kryle so openly impassioned as her comrade. I will do my best to support her. 
apparently you than me. Thank you, Aaronville. I appreciate it. Dale has already extracted the date of my earring. At long last, a clue. My apologies, but I'll remain here to review the information. I feel for you. When Genel is a brilliant adapter, it is, a, it is as if he's stuck on full volume. It's all I can do to put up the clamor. By, by the by, you didn't know him before, did you? Don't you know you could by the mo- Don't see how you- how you could, but for a moment there it looked like you're- Yeah, no, mm-hmm, I know who he is, don't worry. A little? Try to keep a little closer to the rest of us, and so you don't get yourself surrounded. When I go on the attack, do you think I'm pushing forward too quickly? This place is originally designed by the preservation engineers. Engineer. That's why it's wall to wall with contraptions. Alright. Sorry. Had to see me, my, me passion spilling over. Happens when you put your heart and soul in your craft, you knew. And no, not to be weird or nothing, but I feel a sense of kinship when I saw you. Uh, yeah, you might say that. We have met multiple times throughout many expansions, many times. I would immediately take you to one to see, but yeah, no. Hey, Rude. As I say, I need someone to lend me a hand. I haven't slept for two nights now, not a single wink, and I'm ripe to collapse. And for two, though, got Rook's line, folks behind me, see? But if I keep at it, I need ye to fetch me my favorite energy tonic. Oh, is that it? The voucher's good for two cans. One for yourself, and by way of welcome. Can't get the stuff from any old vending machine, though. You need to talk to a bloke named Philemon. You can find 10 in the bar in the main strip off. Okay, I'll do that. Wasn't expecting them to be getting a guy an energy drink. Well, I guess that means I get to go there and attune that crystal. Yeah, this strip is amazing. The accordion. The Coliseum, where the raid this expansion's being held. The trial, I should say. The raid is, I have no idea what the raid is. The trials are held here. Oh, wait. All right. I can hide that now. I'm done. Hey man, I got a voucher. Please be good. I got a feeling the voucher's not good. Welcome, where are you be having? I got this voucher here. Energy Tox? You can't get that stuff from vending machine. You can't get that stuff from vending machines. How dare you suggest that? I sell such dangerous stuff. Away with you, away with you, and don't come back. <laughs> got a voucher? Slip it to me. Nice and subtle. Energy Tonk Voucher. Supplied by Oblivion member Genalt. This voucher can be redeemed for two cans of Energy Tonic from... Okay. Ah, so you're collecting for Genalt. I can for him, and I can for you, eh? Man, energy drinks are outlawed here. Here you go. Yours is formulated for beginners. Gentler than the full strength stuff. Thank you. It's not contraband or anything, so you won't run afoul of the authorities. But if Rodan, oh no. Why does she have to be here too? God damn it. We have Gettle and then we have Rodana. How does this keep happening? <laughs> okay. Radonic Consortium was made aware of my special selection to be back for business. 
Now, seeing as it's your first time, I want you to drink the your tonic here, just in case there's side effects. Okay. To drain the tonic in a single pull. Hey, that's how you do it. Your pulse ought to quicken soon, after which you'll start to see everything more clearly. And then finally, you, you'll feel a roaring surge of energy. People like to say it's like growing a pair of rainbow wings. Ah, Red Bull. Well, you hadn't... You haven't up and carked yet, so hurry and give Geralt his time. He tends to leave it to the last moment, and, ex ex and I expect it he's about to kneel over. Oh. Um. Help me. I'm... Help. What's wrong with me? Uh, okay, I'm good now. Why do those two keep showing up in every expansion somehow? Like, I didn't expect the 30. Yeah. Oh, man. That's hilarious, though. Radonna is somehow here, too. Of course she is. And then she's going to find out about you, and you're going to be in debt for the rest of your life working for her. You got the tonic. Give it here, quick. Old strength energy tonic. Bearing a curious design upon his can, this energy tonic is the favorite of a bloody member gal. Here you go. Ah, that's just, ain't nothing like it to blow the cobwebs right out with a great big kaboom. Awaken oh, something feral in me, it does. Transform me into a remorseless beast. What won't stop till it's done? What's born to do? Hey, Rose. Sorry for sending you off doing errand like that. I just can't concentrate without me tonic, you know? And the pile of work only ever gets bigger. Speaking of which, I better get back to it. Those weapons and tools ain't gonna enhance themselves. God damn it, it's him. Yeah, the weapon and tools aren't gonna enhance themselves. Sounds very familiar to another man I know. I've been meaning to ask about that Mamulja child. Could he be... Clone or son? Clone or son? That's my guess. Yes. In all likelihood, he's Dorelja's son. Okay, so son. So you think so too. But what is he doing here? He was abandoned, the poor dear. We found him in the Drift Downs a few years ago. Oh, wow. <sighs> to think he'd cast aside his child. Man, all he cares about is war and his ambitions. We can't say for certain who he was born to or why he was on his own. But he's a blue-scaled Hubigo. And Zoralja is the only other one around. That being the case, everyone assumes their father and son. Even the boy has put two and two together. I think he might be a clone, maybe. This all happened when he was very little, so he has no recollection of his parents. <sighs> it breaks my heart to think of it. What's his name? Guja. Oh. It was my hope that he'd grow up to be a man of principle, like his grandfather. <laughs> it's a fine name. Your hand's clipping through your shoulders. Uh, I should mention that the boy is a little unusual. At first, I intended to raise him as my own. But just when I thought he was warming to me, he suddenly disappeared. We searched high and low for several days. And where should he turn up? But in the wilds near Everkeep. What? It's a miracle he didn't fall prey to fiends. See? That's another unusual thing. Creatures don't seem to attack him. He could pick his way through the Thunder Yards as if he were on a stroll. On making inquiries, we learned that he had been living alone and receiving food 
from the people of the outskirts. This became something of a pattern. We'd track him down and bring him back, only for him to disappear again within a matter of days. He would return to the wilds without fail, and once again rely on the kindness of strangers to survive. Finally, I took the hint and left him be, giving him the solitude he prefers and lending a hand only when he explicitly asks. If Gulucha is Zorolja's child, that makes him my nephew. Assuming he's willing, I'd be glad to take him in like Papa did for me. Mm, but seeing as I'm here to kill his father, I don't know if it would be right. Who was that? He heard. Oh dear. It's Galulja. Don't tell me he heard everything. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, this is my fault. I asked that he be kept away, but I should have taken more precautions. I'm going after him. I need to explain. Wait, Lamachi. I understand your haste but it'd be best to coordinate a search. Kakiwa, do you have any idea where he might go? There's no telling, I'm afraid. He could as easily be outside the tower as here in Solution 9. If those who can fight would search below, my mother and I will scour the district. Sounds like a plan. Let's get to it. I guess I'm gonna be looking for a child now. And quest complete, baby. <laughs> that is the end. We'll pick up finding Galuja next time. Honestly, no fighting in this episode whatsoever. It's been mostly story. And somehow finding another version of him again with the chick. They exist somehow here. Uh, every time you think you get away from them, like tombstones, you think you get away from those? No, 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 no. Tombstones follow you wherever you go. Somehow the elegance and the. If you, there's two things you can count on every expansion tombstone somehow carrying over despite being an Allegan contraption and then those two somehow coming to life and just being there somehow <laughs> ah well I'll see you next time we'll continue and we'll find a child and then we'll get a pair of gloves but until then I'll see you next time hey, good night goodbye